so we have sneha with us okay so let's understand the point was ki we were already like all of us right as a society, as a community we were connected since quite some time earlier we started a journey with life transformations at part of that we have not closely seen each other and knew each other we didn't get a chance like that however then we started all of a sudden okay tomorrow morning we will be waking up for our life or this morning routines and all that and then all of a sudden all the dedicated people started showing up in the morning and which was one brilliant of experiment and like it worked out very nicely for entire one week it showed and after that we enrolled in this kind of a journey where which is a 21 days plan and now this is the time where we are knowing each other after spending more than a month together okay that's what happens actually the more efforts you put in your consistency and we have just uh, like i'm proud of what we are doing right now okay basically and knowing each other now that means already i have so much context about you in terms of your people's dedication focus commitment so it really feels good like okay these are the people who are doing something in life and feels really good to talk about it okay so give us a quick intro about yourself sneha yes okay i'm sneha i'm working as a software engineer in astu business solution hyderabad mm-hmm. and Uh, today i want to share my life story or success story anything you can say in front of you and after listening that you will get to know the two things one what to do in life what not to do in life after listening that thing okay before okay. Uh, before going to uh, that story i want to uh, tell you one thing that these uh, abundance programs are really working for me um, when i was in very difficult uh, low energy low energy state when i was in very depression mode i i was not understanding what to do why this depression i will discuss in my story again um, and i was going to doctors also and uh, he that doctor said you don't have anything don't uh, don't take tension and stress and uh, depression mm, your your problem is uh, your unhealthy lifestyle and uh, you are bit sensitive girl that's why you are feeling like that otherwise you are a young strong girl you don't have anything don't feel like that he said but when he said like that i was not i was doubting uh, after doing meditation yoga kind of thing these all things will really recover or not these things i i, I had doubt on that but uh, till uh, but after some days i understand that this thing only can transform my life when uh, tosik bhai has suggested me for this thing then i was clear by my Uh, by my mind that only this is the way to transform and to uh, change the perspective of life and to transform the life again i was hesitating to enroll in this session only because only uh, the reason was to give this live session kind of thing um, but uh, again tosik bhai has supported me and i enrolled in anyhow see uh, see guys like this is the uh, transformation uh, transformation at the uh, start i was hesitating to enroll itself because of this live station live sessions and now i am giving the live sessions in front of you this is the this is the uh, transformation in me and this is the change in me due to this abundance program i am daily uh, twice uh, twice a daily i am doing this abundance program which is really uh, working for me and now uh, i want to tell you my just story just a break here just a break here okay so so just a quick my side view of what uh, the sneha is saying okay so yes so when we said okay we are going to start with this program and all those things okay at that time she okay so i was following up with people looking at the reactions okay so she was like okay very really excited when i said that and all of a sudden she just disappeared she did, didn't got in touch so i knew it okay, there is something wrong with her at that time okay so that's why i tried to reach out by because we are all doing this to help each other to know each other to try to support in kind of a situations okay and personally everybody's problem life situation is different so that's where i reached out to her okay hey, what exactly happening is uh, if there is something which i can do to ease out the situation so that she'll feel relaxed and she was like okay taking these live session this is the thing which is holding me back and i was like come on this is the smallest of the problem of everything come on how can this be a problem so then i like spoke for some time and she, then she was like okay let's do it and she gave uh, okay that was one part but the good point is when i asked like yeah, i think day before yesterday we were checking on the schedule like who to get into and when the dates would be coming up so at that time 
टू माई सरप्राइज ओके आई जस्ट आस्क कर तो स्नेहा विल यू बी एबल टू कंडक्ट अशन दिस कमिंग सैटरडे इट सेल्फ and she was like straight away yes of course and i'm like come on is she the same girl two year two days ago or like one week ago she said i'm hesitated and she's like without even a second thought like okay yes do it well what happened to this girl in five days and i think now she's saying ki already in these five days she has started to think different maybe the abundance program is working she's saying she's going through it twice a day and uh, like all these meditation and all these practices are helping her somewhere yeah so let's listen out her story what exactly she's saying Nice, Neha. Okay, you are full of surprises, by the way. <laughs> okay, get started. Get started. What exactly is your story, Neha? Before telling my story, I want to tell you one American movie dialogue that when oh. we are in our <laughs> when we are in our college, we play with our life. But after completing our college, our life will play with us. And this is exactly related to everyone, I think. And uh, uh, coming to my story. when i was uh, when i was uh, i came to hyderabad i was very happy full of energy very ambitious girl because i had one purpose i, I wanted to get job i wanted to work hard because uh, i wanted to become obviously uh, financially independent and second thing was i wanted to give every month one gift to my grandmother for, uh, by my own money that was the main purpose of my life and i was that was which year sneha sneha that was which year where did you come to hyderabad uh 18 18 december 2018 december december 2018 oh. okay okay so it's like a roughly one and a half year ago story hmm yes okay yes. 1920 hmm okay okay yeah continue continue in between i'll try to scratch something more if people just to give people more context of it so it's a, like so in software you have been working so now a two years back story this is there so where she is a very powerful girl wants to do a lot have dreams ambitions full of energy came to hyderabad okay then what happens neha yes continue since my parents both are working my mother and father I, since childhood onwards i was living with my uh, grandmother only i was more attached to with her and i was very close uh, close to her close to her and uh, i wanted to do something for her that's it i was working very hard i was practicing i was daily going to uh, classes but after few months what happened after few months due to paralysis attack suddenly she passed away then all my purposes uh, per, uh, all my purposes uh, purpose gone and uh, i don't have anything to do in, means i was full of depression stress and loneliness at that time because my grandmother was the first and last uh, friend of mine and uh, that time i was not understanding what to do and what not to do i was getting one feeling that when i i needed my grandmother she was there to support me when she needed that time i was not there with her i don't wanted to do anything anything over there i want to uh, i want to go go to my hometown directly but again i uh, again i again i realized that grandmother gone she won't come again but i can give that gifts to others grandmothers also i can uh, i can do uh, i can help to old age homes also that's why uh, I, at that time i wanted to give up but i didn't give up i stayed there and i was working very hard after that also i was full of depression and stress at that time but i was ignoring that state and i was trying to move forward i was trying to move forward and somehow uh, one one fine day after 3 4 months i got job also but here the story doesn't end what happened after getting job after few months after after getting that job after few months that company is closed and all the employees were removed from that company again depression again more depression life was giving one one after one and challenges for me at that time also i decided uh, now this is the high time i have to go to home i don't want to do any job over here but 
when uh, when i again i realized that when i was talking with my grandmother uh, grandmother when i was uh, i was in mca i i had doubt i will get job or not i will get job or not but my grandmother used to say very confidently you will definitely get job you will definitely get job i re- realized that thing again i didn't give up at that time also again i uh, hunt for job and again i uh, got the uh, four five offer letters within one month itself and i joined one company as a full stack developer in uh, working in springboot and angular 7 right now but uh, from this this thing uh, i told you people this is the uh, short story of mine but uh, how s- simply i'm telling this whatever i was feeling at that time it was not so much easy losing one uh, one person who is more more uh, uh, more than your mother losing one job is and facing everything is not so much easy friends for that time i didn't give up that is the thing and second time what i told to you people two things you will get to know about this after this story for, first thing you should never give up in your life second thing we should not fight our with our feelings at that time what i was doing i was fully depressed stressed and lonely inside but i was uh, pretending as if i'm very happy uh, i'm very happy i'm okay kind of thing that i was pretending in front of my friends but that is not okay whatever you are feeling inside you have to express if you want to laugh laugh if you want to cry cry friend we we should not we should not fight with against our feelings at the same time we should not feel negative also and um, we should be positive positive in the sense if if we are low in one subject if we don't know any subject if we are sitting and uh, thinking positively no i uh, i will be strong in this subject or i will be strong in this subject it doesn't work for that you have to accept that you are low in that subject and you have to try to become strong in that subject you have to take action positive thinking is nothing but accept accept the reality and move in a forward direction that's it and uh, when tosip bhai has suggested that uh, uh, channel impact theory i have seen one video i don't remember that person name but uh, what what he said that uh, our negative uh, negative thoughts are more say four to seven times powerful than our positive thoughts and when we are uh, when we are thinking negatively we, we are we are increasing the possibility of uh, happening the things which we really don't want to happen in our life so don't be negative in your life that is the thing that's why start is always difficult but if you continue uh, if you start once and you are consistent in that you will get definitely success and uh, i want to tell you one thing that no matter How, how poor how rich how ugly how beautiful you are right now you don't feel yourself i'm bad i'm this i'm that because uh, you have to uh, you have to stay happy and satisfy the way you are the situation in you are because i want to tell you one thing the uh, see i will give our example only employees and the students see who are employees uh, who are students after seeing the employees what they think how good life is there how how much they have good money they have good lifestyle when i will get job when i will make more money when i uh, when i will get success like this we will think hmm? when the employees sees the student what they think how happy life is there how they will uh, find their golden days of their life and they will see how stress uh, there there is uh, no stress in their life how beautiful life is there of student life that's why nobody is satisfied their own uh, own state everybody uh, everybody uh, is changing everybody want to change their state you should be happy and satisfied in your present situation i want to tell that thing only and one thing when problem comes in our life when i will tell you one example i will i will tell you one example that uh, i have since i was some depressed uh, de- uh, since i was in depression that time i used to see some motivational videos that i have seen one video of gor gopal das he 
tells the story of uh, one mother and uh, her uh, son mother at her, uh, in her home was uh, stitching and doing some embroidery kind of thing in uh, one piece of cloth and suddenly her son uh, her son comes and asks uh, mother what you are doing this he sees the back side of the uh, back side of the cloth and says what is this the messy combination of threads what you are doing he asks to his mother but way mother uh, what mother does mother shows the opposite side of that uh, opposite side of that cloth and at the opposite side there was a beautiful pattern of design with colorful flowers and leaves and everything like that the moral of the story is when problem comes in our life we will see the problem as a problem but uh, we don't see the beautiful plan be plan of god behind that problem we have to see we have to change our perception and second thing uh, second thing i want to i want to tell you that if you are seeing some uh, successful person in your life if you are feeling some successful person who, who is more healthy wealthy and he has everything success we have to inspire from them we have to appreciate their success we have to appreciate their hard work and we have to take some lessons from there and we have to apply in our life but we should not feel jealous on them we should appreciate their hard work that's it and when we will become successful at the same time we should not let other people put down we should not feel other we should not make others to feel that they are very poor that they are not good for anything we should not do that thing we never 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 feel we should not never hurt anybody without reason because the great great thing of time is it is changes for everyone right then um, if if we are feeling very proud in my package is 10 lakh 20 lakh or 1 crore anything there are some people who are earning same money within a month what we are earning within year there are some people who are earning same money within a day there are some people same amount of money within an hour and within a minute also they are earning by hard work only that's why we should not feel proud and we should not feel uh, uh, that others are poor and others are low others are good for nothing we should not feel like that we should be patient and we should be uh, helpful to, for others and we, we should we should be kind kind to others that's it and um, one thing i want to tell you that um, when it takes four years to become a, a software engineer right and it takes a lifetime to become a human being to become a human being that's why to change to change the our lives this abundance programs are really 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 helpful for me see the transformation in me and learn from me i'm not just saying just about this okay. wait 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 your internet was blipping okay i think you are back here yeah. continue continue what you were saying i'm not just telling you people that i want to tell something in front of you i'm uh, i'm telling you in through my experiences but last thing i want to tell you and i will summarize everything that no, no, it's the second last maybe second last you want to listen one more last from you <laughs> 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 okay continue continue okay what exactly you want to say hmm last thing is that when we are feeling low in life when we are giving excuses not to do hard work when we are uh, when we are feeling very lazy to do hard work tell to yourself those people who are more successful than me who are, who have more knowledge than me who have more money than me they are working uh, working more hard uh, they are working more hard work they are doing more hard work than me then why should not i do the more hard work that is the thing guys you have to realize that thing thank you super super sneha perfect whatever you said it was like lot of dimensions lot of insights lot of learnings across so many aspects of life guys okay and really i think whatever she is uh, sharing out so based on her experience she have practically analyzed it seen it through and then i think when life is throwing you through so much of tough situations and then the way she is dealing with she is not giving up she is still trying to explore more why this why that reading more exploring more what people are thinking why they are like that why she is not able to do that it's it's all about so much of exploring and that is what is giving her more valuable insights 
so now this is a thing guys ke life in life whenever you are thrown in problems it's up to you how you deal with that and she said in her story like on two three multiple occasions she was thrown so badly in life situation where she was like should i just quit and move back okay and that kind of a zone and believe it if at that time uh, sneha did you have somebody around you to console you so saying no sneha keep going when your grandmother incident or your job quitting incident was there somebody to help you no sneha keep going life is good it will happen was there somebody no i was living alone in hyderabad i i was living in single sharing and that whatever i was feeling i was not telling to my parents also because they will take tension uh, i had that fear that's why i was not sharing with anybody i was not expressing my feelings with anybody that's why that problem became more that is the problem that's why we should not fight with our feelings we have to share with friends with anybody we have to share with share that thing yes 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 dekho guys again this is such a it's that's life basically okay that's really tough of a life guys like you are running through so much of a volcano of emotions running inside you like you are losing your close ones you are losing and life is so throwing surprises at you where you are like already you are just a beginner in this life and you are getting all this pain all this suffering and you don't know how to deal with it as well because right from childhood nobody has taught you all these things okay when tough situations come then what we are all like school college is fun time enjoyment your family parents taking care of you you are getting money you are getting educated life is fun at that time and all of a sudden the strong beautiful foundation of life just slips away right below your feet and then you are thrown into this world and like do something right that's really painful and like she said she started like hyderabad very excited i'll do this i'll do that and that's where bang on life started throwing challenges and this happens guys this happens with many people okay if that's not happening with you that means you are lucky enough there okay which is good i really feel good for you okay but there are many people who life would be throwing huge challenges and like her situation was pretty tough like nobody there to even like Okay, forget about somebody being there to console or like Sneha keep going, Sneha keep going. Everything would be well. That's a beauty part of it. But the worst was she was not even able to express out or tell it to somebody. Now what happens? It's such a soft mind, such a soft heart. And when you are in the zone where you are running with so much emotions, and I am very sure, like in her close room, she would have wept a lot, cried a lot, felt sorry about her a lot. And that's reality of life, guys. You cannot run away from that. And when that emotion is piling up, piling up, we don't know how people would be able to get over with that, guys. It can have massive impacts. Okay. one way could have been like sneha's life would have been completely turned over like she would life given up in life completely like never be able to be happy in life that could have been one possibility guys and the world is having those examples as well if you are not able to go beyond or greater than your problem situations if the problems dominate you you will suffer so badly like you will not be able to achieve anything in life there are real life examples of this kind totally messed up lives totally given up like they don't want to contribute anything they feel like their life is a burden and that's a real tough shit guys okay that's one reality of life but i would really like to appreciate the way sneha dealt with it okay being alone being surviving in these tough kind of attitude it is huge okay it is really huge and being like a college girl then shaping up in the initial 3 to 4 years looking so much of drama just in like 2 years she has seen so much of things guys but now just see her just in 2 uh, years what life has thrown her into but she took the stand that i will own my life responsibility okay she took that decision okay what happens fine this thing didn't go well for me but the other thing is there i might find the reasons for which you should be happy and she was trying to find out the reasons maybe i'll help other grandparents or some old age home that's what satisfies her inside okay that's what makes her happy and this is what she was trying to find out reasons for being happy and that kept her going guys had she not found these strategies and these ways of getting over life would have been even been more tougher and we would not have been seeing the sneha right now the way she is right now speaking okay but that's what life is you have to keep finding that one reason that one reason which will keep you in the game which will keep pushing you 
and don't yeah what she said all the learnings which she has stated actually they are really beautiful really massive what sneha has been through in these two years it's really incredible sneha and i really appreciate the person you are okay truly honorable to see you sneha because in life alone single handedly doing so much of things it is not easy there are very few people who are able to manage this and i think you already know that and guys you need to understand all the other people listening when life is throwing you so so much pain and when you are alone in that not giving up is very tough okay giving up you might find it easy but not giving up is really tough like how to keep going in the this tough situations and what sneha applied the strategy to even read more explore more she started rediscovering what exactly is life what she told a incident about she started exploring some motivational videos this videos that videos the concepts of the world like why things are happening this way all these exploring would that means you will have the knowledge and then only you can convert it into your life beauty and i think whatever she has said even i cannot uh, cover all that in words like it was huge learnings huge learnings across so many segments of life and after that she's here okay she's here she's so happy and i'm so proud to see her this way but now she's a way too strong a personality just imagine no matter what is going to happen in future life she would always remember this incident that there was time in 2018 19 20 in these 2 3 years where life was throwing me through pain times but i was resistant i knew what are the right ways of doing i explored more i researched more and then i then figured out what to do what not to do what is the best way of doing things what is the best way to avoid things and that's what guys raising up in your knowledge raising up in your mental toughness that means the big deal now and furthermore she says this is not done yet just in past 5 days she is telling you so confidently like follow these abundance program because she is experiencing change in these 5 days as well okay sneha can you put some light on what exactly is happening what exactly is the difference like i we knew know that you have came through a situation you have gone through a situation now things are back on track you are working again things are good again but now what exactly you are battling with and why these abundance programs are now so much valuable to you because now it feels like your life is sorted then what exactly is happening and why again when i just said ki go through impact theory you started following up seriously and taking learnings out of that as well now that is something inspiring you inside i want to know why that is what are you doing why what's happening because uh, i am not so much expressive kind of person previously but uh, since i started this thing i am feeling as if i want to express this these many uh, these many days i want, i want, i was not expressing myself i was not uh, i means uh, i was not extrovert personality i was some introvert personality kind of that's why uh, from that personality to this personality from not expressing yourself to expressing yourself that that is the main thing uh, which i have seen in my life today uh, due to this abundance programs just in 5 days <laughs> sneha that is a big lifetime transformation everybody listening in the house you need to take a second like boom of a learning your head should be banging on the walls guys in 5 days a personality can change to that ex- level just imagine that she was a kind of a person throughout her life and which she is saying she went in a silo room single room because of xyz reasons and in that time also not sharing the thoughts with the friends and so much of life tough situations that means that was her personality throughout her life but she is saying just within 5 days she completely transformed in because of these small practices which she is doing on a daily basis abundance program uh, impact theory related stuff and all that thing is now the world will know what sneha is okay she has been through a lot and she has a lot to give back to the world because she can become a light for so many people who are not able to deal with this and let me tell you sneha there is huge population of the people who will not be able to pass through the phase which you have passed up in life i really know that i really know that and all those people like one you have a good thought right doing something for the old age people and contributing like that i think you should even have this goal like whatever you have learned and stayed so rigid and solid in your life 
there would be a lot of people who would need this hope from you okay and you should help those people as well by showing and leading them by example and i think you have that potential one of um, what happened what happened because of you only i'm uh, feeling good and i'm changing myself my life also transforming because of you only really thank you from the bottom of my heart thank you are really. are are, are. <laughs> thanks thanks my pleasure my pleasure my pleasure whatever i have learned whatever i have seen i want to give it and if it is really helping you i'm so thankful like okay at least i got the chance to do that and give some spark you're already a inspired soul but if i can be some value to you that is really meaning a lot to me okay thanks for saying that and i think you would have a great journey up ahead in your life mm-hmm.